you're able to, as a citizen of Colorado, to say you think this is dangerous. I work with it every day. I see the uh, danger and damage it does. Leading medical researchers are coming to the conclusion that marijuana, pot, grass, whatever you want to call it, is probably the most dangerous drug in the United States, and we haven't begun to find out all of the ill effects. Uh, we can talk about its use for analgesia, for nausea, for chemotherapy-induced nausea, for appetite stimulation in HIV, AIDS patients, etc. It's been used in medicine for quite a long time. But they are permanent ill effects. Uh, our focus is on opioid and heroin uh, increase, unfortunate upturn in overdose uh, prescription pills. I know in the Sacramento area, just in the last 10 days, we've had nine people die from fentanyl uh, overdoses. Uh, and we, that is uh, something that we've been spending sort of 24-7 well, the last huge issue, two weeks. But I just... I just from my experience in dealing with this, uh, we need to set a nationwide, we need a nationwide understanding about the problem. This is very real. Did the drug czar of the United yep. States of America uh, make any uh, opinion, express any opinion to, marijuana, to Colorado about the possible dangerous impacts of uh, marijuana legalization in Colorado? I can't tell you how concerning it is for me emotionally and personally to see the possibility that we would reverse the progress that we've made and let it slip away from us. Lives will be impacted, families will be broken up, children will be damaged because of the difficulties their parents have, and people may be psychologically impacted the rest of their lives uh, with marijuana. I am glad that in this administration we have increased the amount of money for handling the problem of dangerous drugs sevenfold. It will be $600 million this year. More money will be needed in the future. As you can tell, such an approach will not come cheaply. Last February, I asked for a $700 million increase in the drug budget for the coming year. And now, over the past six months of careful study, we have found an immediate need for another billion and a half dollars. With this added 2.2 billion, our 1990 drug budget totals almost $8 billion, the largest increase in history. I mean, we need grown-ups in charge in Washington to say marijuana is not the kind of thing that ought to be legalized, it ought not to be uh, uh, minimized, that it's in fact a very real danger. Uh, you can see the accidents, traffic deaths related to marijuana jump uh, 20%. These are the kind of things that we're gonna see throughout the country and you'll see cocaine and heroin uh, increase more than it would have, I think, had we not talked about it. Well, um, is there any sense that Colorado might reevaluate what they've done?